a boxer from Brazil. Yeah. We know they have fighters okay. out there. He's fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. For those of you at home, I, that should be indicative of, of the, the type of program that Johnny and Brian have put together here with Peak Fighting. Uh, we've got fighters coming from all over the world to uh, participate in Peak Fighting. And we have Spencer with the double underhooks, you know. Oh, he just lost. Oh, he still has him. You know, that's a, a great place to, to finish a takedown from. And there they There we go. We're, right we're going to see a, a, a takedown here, here shortly. You know, they're in the middle of a scramble. This is where you expend the most energy in these scrambles right here. Trying to get that position to, uh, to lead into. Absolutely. You can't stop until until you have the position. Looks like he's going. Oh. There we go. Big punch. Big punch. You could feel the wind off that. <laughs> Julio Lopez, he threw that. Oh, oh my nice. gosh. What a thunderous head kick. From such a big guy. Those will break forearms, too. Yeah, they will. And you can see the power in his kicks. Yeah, he's seeming pretty comfortable. You know, the breathing's good. These guys look good. Oh, wow. He's he's more than comfortable with these high kicks. He's uh, Julio Lopez out of Lone Star Ooh. Academy. I mean, he's really he coming really with it. He's putting there. it on it. Yeah, he's he's not letting the pressure off. I mean, for for somebody who, what, what did he write down? 260 pounds. I mean, he's moving. He's very athletic. He's expending a Duck lot of energy one, here, yeah. though. And you know, this is an amateur fight. You know, I'd like to see him get those punches crisper and tighter, you know, keep his range, don't smother his punches, but it is working right now and is very effective. He's keeping the pressure on him. Oh yeah. And you know, if I'm Andrew Spencer right here, you know, fishing for the underhooks, he's, he's tying down a hand that's good grabbing for the wrist looking like he's going for a guillotine here now you know i would fish for the underhook and, and try to turn him you know you got to get off that yeah, cage you want to get off the off the wires for sure and, then and i think he needs to mask the aggression with the hands mm -hmm. and again and like you say malik this is uh this is really the scramble is i mean Working for that position is, is they're, they're exerting so much energy. So much. And these guys are so big, just to move their bodies, they're exerting a lot of energy. And that'll be the end of our first round. Five rounds in this one. That's right, this will be a five round event. For heavyweights, that looked really great. And especially amateur heavyweights, they look great. Mm -hmm. Spencer showed a lot of heart in that one. He Absolutely. Took, he took some hard shots he did I, and, I, and was able to keep his footing yeah and as we continue to grow Pete continues to grow i think we're going to see some mics in the corners and all that we'll be able to get to see the feedback and what they're saying it will be uh, and, and that's just the thing it's such it, no no if you want to be a successful organization in mixed martial arts you cannot try to grow too fast exactly you need to be patient just like these fighters yeah. are just like you've been looking for the right fights or are be. given the right fights so patience is a virtue. <laughs> Somebody ought to write that down, Malik. <laughs> <laughs> nice looking at the replays here. Coming up for round two, this is our heavyweight amateur title match. And I think uh, we're going to see Lopez coming out here swinging heavy leather again because he was having so much success with that. And those high kicks. Uh, oh, impressive my for such a big man. It, shook the cage when it landed. <laughs> oh, yep. There we go. And he's oh. a southpaw, too. You know, those kicks are coming straight to that, to that man's liver. Ooh, he is uh, throwing. Yeah, bo both <laughs> throwing. Oh, my. One of those oh, are going to catch ooh, him. That, that slowed him down a little bit. And he's working the body, too, in this clinch. Oh, they both are. Great knee from Spencer. And there we go. He's trying to circle a little bit off the cage. That's what he does. He got that wrist tied down. Those are good moves.
And he's got the underhooks. Yeah, he, yeah, exactly. There you go. He just he just pummeled under and got that underhook. And now he turned him on the cage. That's what you want to do. And they're just going to go back and forth there. Hammer fist to Gosh, the ribs. Gosh, you I can mean. hear those. are just so hard. Yeah, it's such a basic strike, but can do so much damage. So much damage. For all the fans watching, could you just imagine getting hit by a man who wrote down he cut weight from over 320 pounds? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want that. No. But Spencer not really giving him the, the room to move. No, he's, it's, to it's work. a much so better round for Spencer. Yeah, he's... Uh, as long as he's staying on him, he's not giving him the room to throw those big punches and, and those kicks like he was. Which is just fighter IQ. That's smart. And don't be surprised if you see some heavy leather every time you see some separation from the two. B from both of them. Absolutely. Great little hip toss right there. Oh, oh got straight on the head. Guillotine. Lopez oh, no. is so strong, though. Looked like he was going for a guillotine there, Absolutely. but wasn't able to grab it up. And you know, we're, we're 44 seconds left in the second round. We're gonna start to see some fatigue. These big guys, they use so much more energy. They have a lot more muscle for oxygen to flow to. Yeah. Both of them got their hands down. So keep in mind, uh, now these, these gentlemen, these fighters oh, trained. Oh, that, that was a big one. A... That was a big one. You know, Spencer yeah. might be acting, oh, he, he might not be hurt. Yeah, I, I thought maybe he was faking a little bit there, trying to draw him in, <laughs> but... Uh... Shooken up for sure, but he's got 10 seconds. He's going to make it out of this one. Both of these guys, you can tell they're short on air. Short. And that's round two. Julio Cesar in the red corner with the black trunks. Andrew Spencer, green and black trunks, fighting out of the blue corner. Again, we want to thank our sponsors, U.S. Army, Signature Care ER, Premier Outdoor Equipment, The Hideout, Texarkana's Rooftop Bar Downtown, Smartphone EMT, Precision Paint and Body, HornHogRadio.com. I want to thank Miss Molly again for stopping by and talking to us. And yeah. have we said that this is the title fight for it the is. heavyweights? Five for the heavyweight rounds. amateur, five, five rounds. rounds. Well, I'm so glad to hear that because I knew we had the heavyweight title, and I didn't know it was this fight. Yeah, yeah look how many we had. But we, after we this, these so are the guys I want to see go. fighting for a title. They look great. After this, we've got Katie, Ka or Katie Caddy Strike coming out. So, uh, Oh, so we're going to have a lot to say about that. So She's got her a little crew following her yeah, she with does. a camera. That's right. Netflix crew? Yeah. Netflix crew, something so something of that statue. Yeah, they're doing a Netflix documentary, and, and she's part of that uh, program, but they're following her, and she'll be fighting tonight after this this match. So there's a lot on the line. There's a title fight. I think, what are they doing? They are doing five rounds. That's right. This, is, these, this is impressive. See heavyweights go Look five rounds. Look at them studying each other. Something spectacular is going to happen. Yeah, they both have big plans here. Watch. Uh there it goes. We are Big seeing punch. Lopez slow down, though. That was a good straight ride. Oh, another Ooh. good ride. Good counter, though. And Lopez is southpaw, which, you know, if you don't fight southpaws on time, where do you get a southpaw training partner that is that big, you got know? The, got the side mount. So I think that's what we saw in the first couple rounds. Andrew Spencer just taking I a think, time to get used to that southpaw look. Listening to the back. Well, on the ground, it seems he yeah. has the advantage. And he's got his back. He's he put down that he doesn't mind the ground or, or, or the e strike. Either or. And he he's gonna he, he should be looking to what, flatten wasn't him out. Wasn't Spencer from here. that asked if he how he wanted to finish? He said both. Both. He wants to. He's got him in the full mount here. And that is not something you want. You do not want that big oh, old flat. man to be sitting on you full mount. He's flat. Ah, those are strong. Oh, I'd like to see him keep his hooks in and flatten them out. Still, he should get his hooks in. We're halfway through the round, halfway yeah. through the match. There we go. Okay, good. Stay strong. Keep your knees on the mat. You're so big. You don't have to do much but just sit there. Sit there and, and punch. 
And if you were in Cesar's position, again, we you said it multiple times, if you're flat on your back, you're flat out losing. And that's the truth. If, if you're just flat on your back, you're giving Spencer or your opponent all the time to think about what they want to do to you. And he's still got a whole minute left to do whatever he wants. Absolutely, and uh, with a 260-pound a, a man, that, that can be really bad. Which it's proving to be. There you go. This time he's keeping the hooks in. He's starting to flatten them out. He's getting pretty high, though. And if Caesar just yeah. goes up to his yeah. feet, you know, he, he might could, shuck he, him off. He, yes. There you go. He came out through the bag. Now he's got a leg of his own. These guys are fighting. I mean, they're right here against the cage in front of us. And We've got short time. They're both going to sit <laughs> here. I think they're going to sit here and, and catch their breath. When well, we're yeah, sitting here looking tired. at five, uh, over 500 pounds pressing against the cage <laughs> above us. It's not, it's not very fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen dogs run through fences, so I just... <laughs> and it looks like Cesar Lopez... They're a lot bigger than some dogs. ...on his nose, on the bridge of his nose. Lopez? Yes. Uh, yeah, Cesar over here, he, he, he is bleeding, leaking a little bit, cut on the top of his nose, it looks like. But, yeah, heck of a round. These guys, uh, I heck mean... Heck of a fight so far. Heck of a fight. These big boys are doing five they're, rounds. They're working for this belt. And so far, it's pretty even. Absolutely. I think uh, I think Cesar Lopez took that first round. Yeah, I have him tied up. I, I, I think the second round was pretty even. And then the third, uh, Spencer pretty much dominated that Spencer, round. Spencer dominated that one. You know, these guys are higher level. And for heavyweight, they're extremely high level. You know, heavyweights... You, I wouldn't say a lack of skill, but they know that any punch can just end the fight in a heartbeat. And so I think that's what uh, I think that's what Lopez was looking for right off the grip. And I think Andrew, you know, seeing a southpaw it might be new to him, but he figured it out. So I'm excited to see what this fourth round has. I like the term you use, fighter IQ. Yes, sir. They touch gloves here, leading into the round. In the cage, fighter IQ plays a big thing. Outside the cage. We don't use that term. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can tell that they're definitely tired. It's yeah, slowed down are. a little bit. Lo but, Lopez is... But the, they're going to have to get some work in here. I they're going to have to. Especially in a title match, the last thing yeah. you want to do is leave it up to the judges to decide yeah. who is the champion. I think we're going to see short bursts of explosions and a lot of power. And Malik, with this being the fourth round, how much different is it getting into the later rounds when you're used to two or three rounds? It's different, you know. I've had, I think, two fights now. I had five rounds there. It's different. I mean, in a three-round fight, especially if it's amateur, three, three minutes, you know, you don't really feel the effects on your body. It's a big difference. When you have a five-minute, just those, those extra rounds, you start to feel it a lot more. You feel the fatigue. You feel the bruises. You feel the pain. And you got to push through it. And that's, and that's where you come up with the, you know, the warrior. You're, you just got to tap into your inner yeah. warrior spirit, you know. Fighting is so many more aspects than physical. I would say it's probably about 80% mentality. It is. Well, you know, what was it that General Mattis said? Uh, the most important space on any battlefield is the six inches between your ears. Absolutely. And, and we have seen some very smart fighters here. And, and, and peak fighting just keeps drawing uh, such spectacular athletes. And I'm glad to see that, you know, because it doesn't... You know, some of these promotions, some of these local, regional promotions, they, they just let any old person on the on the, the card, and it doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do good for the sport. Nobody doesn't wants to come and see some good. guy in there that they could beat up. Yeah. You know, you don't want to see that. No. And, and, and but, I mean, the caliber of the fighters that are coming in, I, well, here, we've got uh, Julio Cesar out of, out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, it's amazing. We had Turkmenistan last night. Yeah, We've I think we have Israel. two people from the Middle East today. Canada. Oh, he rocked it. He did. That he was a it. nice one. 
He can capitalize on it here, but he's, he's back to his feet. And, but he looks hurt. Showing heart. Showing heart. I mean, I tell you what, if you ask anybody in the in the stands right now if they wanted to go in there and fight these guys, I don't think they're going to say yeah. I wouldn't want to get hit by either one of these <laughs> he's guys. Just, he's got to hold on for these last few seconds, uh, but he does get the takedown. Nice takedown. That's a way to secure the round. That's right. Well, one but more round to go. He's slow to get up, Yeah, too. Lopez is looking pretty hurt right here. And, you know, as as he should, you know, it's a hard fight. It, Both of them are hurting. It guaranteed. is. I mean, they are. are it is a war in, inside the cage tonight here at the Texarkana, Arkansas Convention Center at the Holiday Inn. Such a spectacular venue. Uh, now, PF8 will be coming up in February in Little Rock. We've got uh, PF9 coming up in March. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, uh, We've got a lot of great shows. That it's been hard for these fighters, Malik. See, you had to go cut off your sleeve. She had to get a jacket. What's up? Yeah, with that? I had to go. You know, I had to flex on them a little bit on the. Kid. <laughs> I was sweating, man. I didn't want to. I don't want to get in the cage, you know, talking to these fighters and have some big old sweat pits. <laughs> <laughs> that would kind of be embarrassing. All right. So, so going into the final round, fifth where do you and have final. It? Where do you have it, Malik? I have uh, I have Spencer up two rounds. You know, uh, and one one one's up and up for smoke, and I have right. Julio with the first round guaranteed. Right. I have to agree with that. I think Spencer took that last round yeah. just based off the knockdown. Absolutely. Even though Caesar took him down yep. uh, right at the end of the round, there I think I, I think, think it's safe to that say round that Spencer jab. just based off of the knockdown. Yes, safe to say, whoever wants it more and takes this round. It's probably going to sway the judges to that. And uh, again, that, that's just the reason you don't want to leave it up to somebody else making that decision oh, for yeah. you. And all due respect to, to Lopez, because this is a war. It, but it is. He is looking hurt and he's looking tired. I mean, he's got a, a mouse under his eye right now. It's swollen up. He's cut you know, above the nose. Those he, are big old men. And they, both of them taking a beating. Taking a beating. Yeah, I think Cesar Lopez has to dominate this round yeah. Oh, yeah. To, he's, to, he's, to secure the victory. I agree. Is, but, but Spencer he, can't let up. You can see both of them, hands dropped. But uh, Spencer seems to be a little bit in a little bit better shape this far into the fight. Oh, yeah. Well, let's not count Julio out. Come on now, guys. Let's work. Yeah, Spencer. Spencer can't hold back. No, he's and, and just coast to the victory. Not if he wants to win. These guys can change the tide of the fight in, in, a, in a a heartbeat. Yeah. You know, I blinked. I almost missed that shot. Right. Yeah. Oh, and and what about that beautiful knockout last night? I mean, it was a blink of an eye. Yeah, devastating too. Never, never saw that coming. You know. As a fan, you want to see the knockouts. As a fighter, I really don't. You know, you can only take so many of those, amateur or pro. You can only take so many. Uh, believe me, I understand. <laughs> and I mean, from a spectator perspective, nice. you love it when they get there. You love it. And they just draw. You love it. And, and, and you see the knockout. Listen out the crowd right now. They started exchanging they some leather, and they're, they're getting crazy. Right, you, and, and you love to see that as a fan. Oh, as yeah. A, as, a, as a fighter. Fifth it, round heavyweight C title. Let's go. C Caesar. Caesar is coming that. with it. He found that second win. Yeah, he's. Maybe third, fourth, or fifth win at and, this point. And the crowd seems to certainly have lit up. Oh, he's catching those knees. Those liver shots are devastating. We got 25 seconds left. Anything can happen. Well, that's got to worry the the corner man over there with him leaning against the gate like that. <laughs> I hope it's been uh, secured ten, pretty well. Ten seconds left. What final, a fight. Final ten seconds. I mean, this has been, my goodness, big round. You rapper. don't see that. You don't see five rounds for heavyweights. That's insane. Yeah, both of these guys right here. I and mean, that, and that was a great fight all great the way fight. around. It really was. And I, I got to tell you, though, at the end of the fight, though, um, you've got uh, Juan, uh, Julio over there, Cesar, taking a knee already, and Spencer looks to be in pretty good shape. 
And see, yeah. I think with those exchanges that round, Julio might have just taken that round. Uh, with the exchanges he was throwing and, and the control he had over the cage. Very well uh, could be. So it's going to be interesting it's, to see how the judges. You know, from our vantage point here, we're as you and I, as fans, right. um, continue, uh, Daniel, we continue to watch the, the cage, and, and we've got this monitor here in front of us. So depending on the angle, so we've got judges around the cage, and they may not see the right. same thing that the others right. do. So, so you just don't want to leave it up to them. But uh, coming in for a belt yeah. presentation here. And they're also scoring different technical aspects of the fight, and it, it, it's, it's each individual's view. That's right. Um, Absolutely. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with here. As more as more people join the stream on Facebook, uh, Malik and felt he had, like he had to go get a fight shirt on. Winner by split <laughs> decision, Andrew Spencer. And Andrew Spencer is our Pete but, fighting heavyweight amateur. By split decision. By split so decision. So that means but one of the judges, like we were talking about, one of the judges scored it for Cesar Lopez, at least one of the judges. That's right. So uh, that's one of the reasons you just can't leave it up to him. Now we're going to have Malik talk to Spencer and see what he's got to, got to say about tonight's fight. But and such big guys. Five rounds, heavyweight title fight. Heavyweight. I'm just gonna give you the mic. What do you? What are your thoughts on that? That's insane. Man, that was a hell of a scrap, man. That guy's a fucking monster. Hell of a scrap. I mean, there were there was leather traded on both ends that had us on the edge of our seats. Like, oh, what? What did you think? How'd you feel about the fight? It's good, man. Some, probably some of the most stiff competition in Texas between Texas and our car here. Well, you won the belt. That was some stiff competition. You, you're going to be able to call the shots now. Well, what's next for you? Are you looking to go pro soon? Because you sure look like one. Yeah, I still want to get my feet wet in the amateur circuit, you know, get, my, you know, get my lumps, get my stripes. And then, you know, whenever my coaches feel like I'm ready to hit the pro scene, you know, that's when we'll make the move. Absolutely, always listen to your coaches. Well, you looked amazing. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, I'd actually like to thank Arkansas, you know, Texas Arcana, for giving me the opportunity to compete, you know, during the midst of a pandemic. And then uh, I would like to thank Houston. Houston pretty much raised me when it comes to combative sports. You know, I'd like to thank uh, my coaches, all my coaches from when I started. Uh, I'd like to thank Jeremy Mahon. I'd like to thank uh, Adam Copley. And uh, especially I would like to thank Daniel Pineda. You know what I'm saying? I just became a part of their fight team, and they uh, welcome me in with open arms. Well, go celebrate, because you deserved it. I think you gained a lot of fans tonight. Coach Frank right there. And my coach, my boxing coach, Rocky. Absolutely. You have a great night, brother. You deserve it.